As you were talking about him, I, I was watching the video that we have of him and, you know, you're describing him and as just an optimistic, bright person. You can just see it in his face doing this really, really, really difficult work. Going to Gaza, you know, you hear it from so many aid workers, is just a, on a different level of um, mm -hmm. really destruction and difficulty. Did you ever hear Damien, as he was doing this work, express concerns about his own safety and about the, the risks and the sacrifices that he was making to do this kind of work? <sighs> You know, I don't really think he ever thought of it as sacrifices. He was there to help people. Um, we, the last time he and I communicated was on February 24th. And um, he said this was, and I don't quite understand what he meant by that, but he said this was his second wartime in Gaza. Mm. And he just said, the world is going crazy. And, um, that was really it. And he was just working hard to make sure he could help the people that needed to be fed, taken care of as much as he could. Never once, never once did he talk of being afraid or um, concerned about where he was. His focus really was on helping the people. Thank you for sharing that with us. I mean, it's so extraordinary to hear that when he felt like the world was going crazy. His first thought was to go right there. Um, I think that says so much about him.